So in closing, I thought it'd be nice to let some of my Simpsons characters address you and give you their advice. <laughs> yes. When in doubt, always pull out the Simpsons voices. That's my first bit of advice. So let's hear from Chief Wiggum first. Uh, thank you very much. Let's see, advice, advice. Um, oh yeah, <clears throat> kids, you didn't hear this from me, but if a cop even thinks that you're gonna throw up in their back seat, they will immediately let you go. <laughs> no crime is worth having to clean yak out of a seatbelt hole. Also, if you're ever wearing a body camera, take it off when you go to the bathroom. That'll end up on YouTube. <laughs> Mo the bartender would like to say hi. Yeah, how you all doing out there? Uh, yeah, all right, I didn't have the benefit of a fancy highfalutin education. I, uh, I went to BU. <laughs> Yeah, at, le at least tough size of campus. I made you to not getting hit by cars on Commonwealth Avenue. <laughs> Apu, the owner and proprietor of the Quickie Mart, would also like to say hello. Uh, greetings to everybody here. <laughs> tough students and myself, we have very much in common. We both worship an elephant. And there he is. It's a tremendous honor for me to be staring at an elephant. <laughs> Remember, please, children, that in life, there is nothing that is not so disgusting that it cannot be sold on a heated roller at a nearly criminal markup. <laughs> uh, the old sea captain has something he'd like to say. <laughs> Yar. Kids remember, the sea is a cruel mistress, but Medford is worse, so you'll be fine. <laughs> Finally, comic book guy would like to say, <laughs> hello. Life is like the Star Wars movies. Some of it is great, some of it sucks, but you have no choice but to sit through all of it. <laughs> Very similar to the commencement speech you are listening to right now. Um, you know, most of my Simpsons voices are either just good or bad impressions of people. I'm a mimic at heart. I became an actor as a result because I really wanted to be other people. I wanted to be anybody but myself, really. So imagine my shock and chagrin when I discovered that while doing impressions of people can be amusing and even hilarious, great actors, even great character actors, are willing to utterly be themselves uh, in front of an audience or a camera. I didn't realize it, but when I was your guy's age, I had a belief that who I was and, and how I thought and how I felt was inherently uninteresting and flawed and not practical. Um, well, maybe they were and maybe they still are, but it wasn't until I embraced the person that I really was that my work as an actor got really interesting. I'm not suggesting that you ignore the, laws of, the rules of society or the laws of common sense or the actual law or textbooks or manuals or your teachers or your advisors or the internet or all the other sources that are happy to tell you the right and wrong way to go about doing almost everything. Just please be honest with yourself about what you think and how you feel about all of that what you like and dislike, what angers you or scares you or saddens you or inspires you or delights you. Those feelings are called your instincts and you ignore them at your own peril. Or as Agador Spartacus would say it, kids, just please be yourselves. And if you can be yourself, please be Judy Garland from that movie, Meet Me in St. Louis. <laughs> My God, she got to wear such cute outfits in that movie. Speaking of which, why do we have to be in these robes today? I, who is this flattering on? You can't look good in this. I mean, maybe with shoulder pads and like a cinch belt, it would all work, but I'm gonna stop talking now because the sooner we change out of these things, the better, yes? Congratulations, class of 2016, you did it.